Hello, I'm Lenny McGill with Glock Store Performance Center. Thanks for joining me. One of the best ways to customize your Glock is to install our custom base plates on your magazines. And not only does it look custom or give you a, a truly custom feel and unique uh, look to your magazines, but it also helps you prevent them from being lost or stolen or mixed up with your friends' magazines when you're at the range. Uh, we've all had that happen once or twice, and you know, after a while these all look alike. By placing your name or your logo or even numbers or some kind of identifying mark on the bottom of your base plate, you're able to identify at a glance that it is in fact your magazine. And we've done these for uh, army units, we've done them for ranges that want to have uh, them marked so people don't walk off with them, quote unquote. Uh, bottom line is it's a great way to, uh, uh, to customize your, uh, your magazines and to identify your magazines, especially if you're you know, a competition shooter and you have you know, multiple magazines, as most of us do, have say eight or six or, or 12 magazines. Uh, if you have them numbered and you start to have trouble with one of the magazines, you can identify which magazine that is. Maybe you've got to change the spring out, maybe you've got to clean it, maybe you've got to change the follower out. If you're starting to have some jams and it always happens with number seven or that particular magazine, identifying them allows you to identify the problem and fix it. So, that being the case, let's go ahead and talk about the, uh, the magazines, uh, the magazine base plates that we manufacture. Uh, they are aluminum, okay, they're, uh, they're milled out of a solid block of aluminum. Uh, they come in a variety of different uh, logos or your own logo or name, okay? So we can do it either way, you can go to the website and see the details for that. Uh, like I said, we've done army units, uh, we've done uh, police agencies, uh, we've done individual badge numbers, uh, we've done uh, obviously names, and uh, we've done company logos, uh, we've done uh, just about everything uh, you can imagine uh, to help customize people. So if you have artwork you want us to do, you can send the artwork to us, we'll clean it up and be able to put it back on the uh, bottom of your base plate. You'll see they are available in, uh, in a blue or black, and we have also a, uh, just a chrome, you know, just a, a standard chrome one. So. Let's talk about the uh, installation of these now. They are special, they're different because they're aluminum, they're harder than the plastic uh, that comes with the factory. And people ask me this all the time whenever we go to shows is that, well, how do you take that thing off? And um, I always tell them this, okay, first of all, you need a very solid punch. So if you look at this punch, you're going to notice it's a thick one right here, okay? It's not the uh, skimpy little punch, it's pretty stout because I have bent screwdrivers and I have bent uh, small skimpy punches uh, trying to take these things off. I also tell them this, I say, you know, you know, unless you're a gorilla and you have superhuman strength, you really can't do it up here, okay? It's just very difficult. You know, you don't have the arm strength, the shoulder strength. Uh, I don't, you know, and, and, and I work out a lot, you know. Uh, so the way that I always tell them is I say, okay, what we want to do is when you use a strong punch, we want to put the punch in the hole. And then, once we put it in a hole, we're going to put it down here in our lap. I'm going to stand up for you real quick so you can see it. So I, I put it down here in my lap, and I'm going to get my shoulders up on top of it, and I'm going to pop it just like that. And then once I pop it, you know, it's, it's not going to come out all the way because the punch is going to get caught on the uh, magazine body. So I punch down, and I kind of loosen it, and then I want to make sure I capture that spring, the magazine spring inside, so it doesn't go flying across the room. And I also want to make sure they don't have that spring fly up and hit me in the face or hit me in the eyeball, okay? Inside of the tube, the magazine tube, you've got the insert plate. So this is called the base plate, and there's also a, a plate in here called the insert plate. All right, now I've captured the spring, you see it. Now the springs aren't typically that large, but they will fly out. That's basically it. That's the insert plate, and you'll notice <coughs> the little dimple on the insert plate that marries itself to the hole in the base plate. And that's how it captures itself on, just like that. All right, now the older Glocks had the hole in the middle. And these uh, newer Glock magazines have the hole here at the uh, front end of the uh, magazine body. You'll notice also as well that there's a square side and a, and a round side. The round side basically the front side and the square being the rear, which marries itself or matches itself up with the shape of the magazine. So you really can't put it in the wrong way. All right, <clears throat> now I'm gonna go take the magazine spring out and the follower on these uh, newer magazines, also attached to the spring somewhat uh, with a little hook system here, so I don't need to take that off for you. You'll figure that out, really, it's really easy. So the follower goes on and it stays up there, and obviously the follower points forward, it goes up, because it's driving the rounds up, so you really can't put this in the wrong way either. Now, 
<clears throat> when we go ahead to put our uh, custom base plate on, one of the things I want you to notice is um, on the magazine, very close in here, there are two little ears. These ears marry up to, uh, on the bottom of the base plate, little slots that kind of capture those ears. Okay? All right, so that nestles itself in there. The aluminum base plates are more rigid than the plastic. So what happens when you put the plastic on, it kind of slides over top of the ears and it gets captured in that little slot. Uh, the problem with the aluminums is that you know, they, they're not going to slide over top. They're not going to bend, okay? So what we have to do to be able to install these properly and, and, and easily, should I say, is to shave these ears off. Now, it won't affect the performance of the magazine whatsoever. I've been doing this for a long time and never had a problem. Because, again, remember that the insert plate captures the base plate like so. And so that's what keeps this from falling off or sliding off, all right? That connection right there because you've got the downward pressure of the spring, and you've got the lips, and it's capturing, so it's not going to move anywhere. So uh, these, uh, these ears are kind of redundant. So what we do is we go in here with a knife, and we cut this little guy right off. And it's really not that hard. Make sure you have a sharp knife. We're going to come up here at the edge, and we're going to come down and just get ourselves down to flush to the magazine body and then I'm going to shave the rest of it off and eventually after a couple passes cut that guy right off just like that okay and once you note that I've already done the other one on the other side just for this video so, now I'm prepared to slide my aluminum base plate right on, and it'll slide on right over top, just like that. So, now, it is a tight fit. Just get it started here with my punch. Now that I've got it started, I'm going to go ahead and reassemble the magazine. And it's really that easy. So, again, the magazine follower and the spring follower wants to go up. That's the direction, so we're going to stick it in. Make sure it seats itself fine. <clears throat> Turn it upside down, use gravity here. Use my thumb to push this thing in. Again, this is one way. The dimple's up towards the bottom of the magazine and it's square in toward the back. Kind of get that over there like that. Again, being cautious of that spring. You don't want to let it slip and go flying across the room or you know, hit you or hit your wife sitting next to you. She won't be happy. And then you go ahead and you get it captured like that, okay? And once you have it captured, then you go ahead and you start your magazine base plate over top of that, and voila, just like that, it'll pop into place. And if it doesn't pop perfectly into place, just, just go in there and just seat it, just like that. And there you go. Good. So that is the magazine base plate installation. It's uh, a great way for you to customize, identify, uh, and personalize your own magazine base plates. We've got them in a bunch of different pre-configurations, but we do do custom work too. We've done uh, different flags, different state flags. Uh, like I said, badge numbers. Uh, uh, we've done uh, law enforcement and military units. Uh, so if you've got an idea and you want to customize yours, you want to put your own name on it, numbers and all that other stuff, just send us the artwork and we can definitely do it for you. Uh, I think it's a great way to, uh, to personalize your stuff and also to identify it so it doesn't get mixed up with all your friends when you're out there at the range shooting. I'm Lenny McGill. Thanks for watching. We'll hope to see you again here at Glock Store Performance Center. Mm -hmm.